G'day Stalkers, welcome to episode 8. As promised at the end of last episode, I'm going to give you guys a preview of the spreadsheet that I've been working on, which is going to be tracking season 2's progress. If that's not your jam, uh, this won't take long, but if it's not your jam, go ahead and use the timestamp to jump ahead to the action for the rest of you. Here we go. This spreadsheet, this the sheet I should say, is the dashboard. This is where we'll be driving most of the gameplay out. You can see a lot of it's covered in red because we haven't unlocked a lot of it. This section up here with the cooked meat spoils and raw meat spoils, yes, that's a mechanic that we're going to be using. It's a self-imposed thing. We are saying that both raw and cooked meat will spoil unless there's an upgrade which can negate that effect. Right up the top, we've got ourselves a stat tracker. All of these stats are found in the PDA and you update these every day. So the idea is that you have a rest, a long rest, and then you immediately update these metrics. These stats will drive a lot of unlocks in the Upgrade tab. Um, they'll also drive certain other events and triggers, and you'll want to keep this up to date. So it's good to get into the habit of just updating this as soon as you wake up. Maybe just make a save, do your updates really quickly, and then reload so you don't lose any time. That's how this one's going to work. To the right, we have our XP tracker. This is the area where we'll be manually tracking XP gained from events and activities, uh, etc, etc. I don't think activities has any XP at the moment. Uh, events definitely do, but we'll be manually adding XP and the XP also drives much of the upgrade system. It drives a lot of unlocks and things like that. So kind of pushing you to always be trying to do um, activities, events, daily challenges, that sort of stuff, just to keep you active and engaged. The rest of the functionality I'll uncover as um, we unlock it. As you can see, most of it is red. Some of it, a fair bit of it actually, will unlock after our first upgrade, and we'll check that out very shortly. Let's move on to the supplies sheet. The supplies sheet's going to track all of the equipment that we need to collect in order for our bug out to be successful. We're trying to establish a base, we're trying to be self-sufficient. And in order to do that, we're going to need a lot of stuff. Food, water, meds, uh, resources of most descriptions. So anything we can get our hands on, we're probably going to need it. And a lot of these stats are also going to drive uh, the upgrade system and other unlocks. So you're incentivized to collect as much as you can. Moving on to the Upgrades tab, and you can see that we have only one upgrade, and this is by design. The very first thing that you will craft is your basic shelter, your bug out shelter. You can see that we don't have all of the requirements just yet, so that's what we're going to be doing this episode. We're going to be trying to work towards establishing a basic shelter, because once we have that unlocked, it will in turn unlock a whole bunch of other stuff for us to do. Um, so that's what we'll be focusing on. The Intrigue tab down the bottom, I'm not going to click on, because that is a that is where the story events happen, the main story and the two side tasks, and they need to be unlocked also. We aren't quite there yet, so we're going to wait to see what hides in the Intrigue sheet. Intriguing, no? And finally, we have the Survival Scorecard. Now, I haven't really decided how I'm going to score the season. I do want a scoring system but I haven't really decided the math behind it yet. So that's kind of a work in progress. The one thing that you will notice, however, is the, um, the green cell survival goal in days. And this is used to track how many days worth of equipment you would like to collect in order to be successful in your bug out. So for our goal, we're going to be putting a full year, 365 days. And so that's the amount of gear that we'll need to be collecting for. So a lot of work ahead of us. You can also see there's a lot of red tabs. Now the tabs are red because you don't need to go into these tabs. I don't need to go into these tabs. These are reference tabs only, and they are used to populate other areas of the spreadsheet. So the dashboard predominantly, um, but there are other values that are filled out in some of the other sheets. So the red sheets don't go there unless you really like poking around in the nuts and bolts and you want to see how it all works. Uh, but they do contain spoilers and other bits and pieces. So try and stay away from them if you can. That is the spreadsheet for season two. That's what we'll be driving all of the tasks and interesting stuff that we'll be doing. And like I said, once we unlock our first basic shelter, uh, a lot more stuff will unlock on the sheet. And when that happens, I'll be sure to front load the episodes with it. So any new features that unlock, 
I'll include those at the beginning of the next episode. Speaking of which, let's jump right in. Ah, there you are. What kept you? Welcome back. Welcome to another fun-packed episode. We got all sorts of dramas and stuff going on today. Hope you enjoyed the tour of the spreadsheet, and if you skipped it, welcome to the start of the episode. First off, really quickly, I just want to give a big shout out to Robert Larkin, who dropped into the comments and suggested an update for the WPO mod. Um, there are a few things that are new to the, the latest version of the WPO mod, which allow us to do all sorts of cool stuff with um, weapon repairs and a few other odds and sods. I haven't actually put them in yet, so I do apologize for that, but I'm hoping to have that in by the next episode, hopefully this weekend. So a big shout out to Rob Larkin. Rob is actually a member of the, the Gamma mod team. He's done some work on Gamma. So if you've heard about Gamma and you've not really given it a shot, do go over there and check it out. Gamma is a lot of fun and I probably will cover that in a future season. Now, let's get in. Let's get into it. Now, we're a bit later on in the day today, I think. No, it's like midday. It looks so dark outside. What we do have, though, is a bunch of gear. And this gear right here. Here we go. Oh, oh, I don't like that. It's a bit too close. Let's, yep, yeah, right here. Let's do that. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. I can live with that. I hear something. What did I hear? I swear I heard something outside. Probably just a zombie. Getting paranoid. It's fine. Okay, so we have an ecologist suit. We're going to need that. We are going to go and do a bit of shopping because we have a bit of cash and we have some stuff that we need to get. If you've seen the crafting spreadsheet, you had a look, you've realized that we need a whole bunch of stuff. We need nine backpacks, three field uh, cooking kits, uh, ten firewoods, a camping tent, sleeping bag, which we've already got. We do need another one actually for that recipe. And three army kettles. So we do have a fair bit of stuff, right? Now for backpacks, we've actually got four backpacks sitting here, so we really need five more. We're not going to be able to get that in a single round. But we are going to go and do some shopping and grab what we can, okay? And we might even pop into the ecologists and see what tasks they have for us. Because I'm thinking that's a good idea. I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to lie low. Just going to take it easy. I'm not going to get too radical. We don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Let's put that purified water away. We don't need to carry that with us right now. And that will be the episode. I think we're just going to have a nice, easy, chill ride in. Now I should have actually drank something. There we go. There we go. Now there is a bit of excitement going on at the moment. I know that you can't see anything just yet. And I was hoping that I would be able to see <laughs> the stash really easily. Not so much. Come on. There we go, okay. Alright, so the big problem we have now is that if I suit up in front of these guys, they will shoot me. And that's a no-no. Let's move on. Just going to move out a little bit from the base, going to try and find a nice spot. We're going to swap. How much space have we got? We, we do actually have a fair bit of space, but as soon as we put the ecologist suit on, things will change. That's when things get tricky. Alright. We're going to try and wear the suit here. No one spotted us changing, which is good, but we are also, we're also pretty vulnerable. Okay, let's move on. This shoot, shoot, this suit 
should do a fairly decent job of disguising us from anyone who would normally frequent this area here. Anyone who would normally be in this bunker, we should be pretty well disguised from. Mercs are more than happy with us. Okay, I'm just going to put this away. And we're just going to save, I think. It's not going to be anything here for us to collect. Just see if we can sneak in and not arouse too much suspicion. Okay. Oh, yep, we'll take that. Nothing in there worth taking. Let's see what we've got to trade here. So we've got ourselves a technician. He can sell us all the technical bits we need. We do actually need another one of these. So we'll grab one. Okay, we're going to talk to the ecologists and see if they want to give us any tasks. This is the gentleman ah. we need. Yes. Uh, uh, is there any work they want done? Artifacts, da da da. So urgently volunteer for a mission. You need to take this advanced scanner and place it near the marked anomalies. That'll be sent to our computers. Sure, we can do that. Probably a bad idea. Is there any other work that they want done? Nothing. What have we got to trade? So this is where we'll be able to get meds and other bits and pieces. There's not a huge amount for us here at the moment, but they do have firewood, interestingly enough. Let's buy some, because we do need some. And we will move on. Okay, so we got some firewood. That's actually a pretty good win. Oh man, 11 kilos. That's a lot of weight. Look at our weight there. It's actually a fair bit. We are going to go up and check Yanov Station. I always forget the name of this place. It is Yanov Station, right? Now we need to hope that there aren't any zombies up here. I've been ambushed in this area by zombies before. While disguised as someone else. While monolith and disguised as someone else. Seems like a whole other lifetime ago. Okay, I think we're good. See if our disguise holds here. No reason why it shouldn't. Well repaired. We're patched. Everything is in good nick. We're not running around like a hobo. I think we should blend in pretty well. Given that we've got a... Hello. Given that we have an ecologist bunker not far away. We are just another harmless ecologist. Looking for some chow. Looking for extra supplies. Oh, snap. Gary's dead. Oh, wow. What happened here? My dude. This guy is the guide. Oh, he's a guide. He's dead. Okay, and we're drawing some suspicion there. Probably because we're examining a dead body. I don't think we need to be discovered here. Don't think that's what we want. can also get missions from the hunter downstairs and there's a stash down here that we can loot too hey not bad not bad at all there is a bed here that we could potentially stay in look at this we're already it's telling us that we're already pulling weight i don't believe it all right let's see if this guy has he's got mutant honey stuff let's see if he's got any work um, sure, we could do that, probably. Let's go and check for other supplies. Just 
going to stand off to the side here so that we don't attract too much attention. Well, I have a quick look. So backpacks, field cooking kits, uh, firewood, camping tent, sleeping bag, army kettle. Oh, kettle of plates. We will take those. Absolutely. All right, let's see what our good gentleman friend here has for us. All right, so we do have some gear here. This is too expensive for a backpack. We're just going to focus on these. Let's grab that. Uh, bag with a camping tent. We want that. We'll take it. We actually do have three field cooking kits. We'll grab those. And we've got some firewood, so we'll grab that too. Okay. And for some reason it's telling us that we are overburdened. And we are... Not by a huge amount. It's going to say our stamina wasn't going down, but there we go. There it is. Alright, so... That should fulfill the field cooking kit. Uh, we got six, so we really only need a few more. Do you know what we do actually need? We need an axe. Because that way we could harvest wood. Let's see if we can get an axe from this guy. No, nah, not going to happen. We need to improve our rep with him first. Okay, well that gives us a goal to work towards. That's kind of a shame. I was hoping that we could get a little bit more wood. But that's fine. We can rest. We can come back. We can get more wood. Not a problem. We still need backpacks as well. We're pretty short on backpacks. But I think we got as much as we can get here. Just have a quick look and see... Okay, so we got a task here. That's the... Oh, scanner to the anomalous field. Damn. That's right on our back doorstep though, so I think we can manage that. Plus we got mutants all the way down there, so we can potentially do that too. There are a few things in the area that we could take care of. The tasks are definitely possible. Alright, so we're just going to head back to base and drop this gear off. Then we'll look into doing one of these tasks, maybe. I'm going to keep this episode fairly shortish, just because I'm recording a bit late at night, and uh, it's not... I'm going to be pushing midnight to uh, edit this video and try and get it uploaded, so... I'm going to try and keep the night a little bit shorter. I'll make up for it on the weekend, have a longer session on the weekend. Man, that that water reflection looks so good, right? All right, I'm torn. Do we go straight up the guts, which is risky? I hear dogs. Let's go. That water, though. Holy crap, that looks good. Right? Drop in the comments, tell me I'm wrong. I dare you. Damn, that looks good. Okay. If I had an axe, I could chop some firewood. Could actually harvest some. And we wouldn't have to buy a whole bunch. It's pretty cheap anyway, but... Uh, means we wouldn't have to keep going backwards and forwards because they weigh a ton, as you can see. Not actually sure what happens to the trees. Like, I'm assuming you have to be near trees to get wood. Maybe not, I don't know. Alright, now we are actually still dressed as ecologists, so I'm going to need to change. And it says that I've failed the scanning mission. Interesting. Did not realize that would be a thing. Okay. So the scientists, sorry, the ecologists are pissed off with us now. You know what? I can live with that. That's fine. 
We'll go back for another mission at some point. But I really just want to get this equipment back. Okay, who we got here? Yep. Still got the zombies, that's cool. Always checking because you just never know. Okay. Let's drop this gear off and we'll be on our way. There's a backpack down here somewhere. There it is. They can all stay. That can stay. It was a good find. We'll keep the Kevlar plates. Um, we still have... Gee, I hope I can do something with this. I really hope that it's not going to be stuck in my inventory. Secrets, greatest warrior. Yeah, so it's definitely cancelled that task. But I've still kept a hold of this garbage. What happens if I mark it as junk? Would it automatically sell for me? <laughs> Could I just get rid of it that way? That'd be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. What we're going to do is we're going to head down and clear this area of mutants. And we are getting pushed out of the doorway. Get the hell out of here, man. So let's go for a bit of a jog. We'll do some tasks in this area just to kind of make ourselves known. Build up a bit of rep. That way we can have access to better equipment, better stuff to buy. We get more trust, hopefully some good missions. We can really start branching out. We got, got a base to build. We need to bug out. We need to build up our supplies. Now I didn't loot this area before, but there is stash here. Special two, I think. Possibly a controller if we're hey hey hey. We're not careful. Hop, come on, up you get. There we go. Nope, nothing in that one. There is sometimes a controller in this area. I think we're okay this time though. You wouldn't have thought that would have bothered Monolith, you know, getting smashed by an emission controller would be nothing, but... You know, we've got to be careful of controllers. They are indiscriminate. Okay, let's go and see what sort of mutant we got down here. Might just follow the road for a bit, actually, because there are a few more stashes on the way, I think. I'll pop over and check it out. Sounds like the checkpoint, maybe. Seems relatively empty so far, but looks are always deceiving. Nothing up there. Alright, so we're coming upon a camp just down this embankment here. we got down here? Zombies by the look. Yep, yeah, they're not coming up as identified, so they're probably zombies. That's a zombie if ever I've seen one. Only the two of them? Seems like. I can't remember if there was a stash right here. Oh wow, look at them. There's a whole bunch of them. Well, they can have this area. I'm not that interested. Pretty sure there is another stash over here, though. Which we'll definitely check out. Here we go. 
go. Hey, food. Food and drink. I'll take that. That's a win. And it just started raining. Groovy. Just remembered that we have an EpiPen active. Still. Oh. Eat it. That's it. Okay. I'll take it. Now, remember that we can't do anything with the meat. We can't store it. So if we wanted it, we'd have to cook it and eat it straight away. Well, the way I'm treating it, I'm treating it in a... It's too hard to time it. So to judge, you know... If we wanted to say 48 hours, 48 hour threshold, it's too hard to measure that. So I'm just saying at the beginning of each wake cycle, so after a long sleep, any meat and cooked meats that we have immediately spoil and we can't use them. They just get thrown away. Another zombie? Nope, it's a monolith. Brothers makes me a little bit nervous to come in here. I mean, will they know? Will they know that I bugged out? They don't seem to be hostile. Although there are only zombies in here so far. Oh. He's just a zombie. <laughs> come on, up. Yes, there's nothing in this uh, in here for us just yet. We could go for a look and get the heart of the oasis. That would be a nice, easy win. But let's be adventurous. I can wait for another time. All right, so we've killed that thing, and that phantom is just going to chase me forever. We can return and say that we've cleared this area of mutants. We need to go back and get our suit first before we do that gonna kill this thing because it's annoying the crap out of me. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, get out of here. Alright, let's go. Bit of extra cash. We'll see if we can pick up some more tasks in there as well. See if they've got anything else that they want us to do. Look at our stamina, man. It's nuts. EpiPens for the win. Alright, we did burn 20 rounds killing that thing, so probably need to get some more rounds too. Have a quick look at our gear and see if there's anything we need to sell off, meats and whatnot, but... Oh, there is that artifact that we can sell to the ecologist too. Might as well do that. We'll go back and get ourselves another task and hopefully not botch this one. I didn't realise that swapping suits would cancel that task. It's a bit rubbish. Although now that I say it, I do remember doing something similar in the past, so... That's just me. Derpin'. Derpity derp derp. I'm gonna go and check this stash here as well. There's one up under the bridge here. I'm going to be a little bit careful about it. Yeah. And there's nothing. That's a shame. So there was nothing down there. I'm hoping that's the way it... Whoa, that's the way it stays. I'm not going to push our luck too much. We do want to keep a low profile at the moment. Even though we are pretty well equipped, we are just one person. 
We do not have a rhino suit. No rhino for us. Although we could search this bunker up here for gear. That usually has a lot of stuff. Let's go and have a look. Might as well. It's on the way. These guys won't harm us. They won't touch us. Alright, what do we got in here? Ooh, we got something over here. We'll take that. And some plastic film. We'll definitely take that. There will be some stuff downstairs. I'm just going to avoid going downstairs for the minute. Yep, we got nothing here. Okay. Just interested in getting our little house on the prairie up and running. Get our base built. Get ourselves established. Get a little bit comfy. Start trying to build up a stockpile and figure out what these dreams are. Figure out what the hell is going on inside my head. Okay. Their friends are diligently standing guard. Good men. Whoa. No need for hostility, gentlemen. Although you do need to get it the hell out of the way. Get us the hellus out of the way us. If they weren't so damn handy to have around, I'd get rid of them. Okay. Got some plastic sheets. So this we're going to sell off. Also going to change out into the suit. And we might as well take this with us and try and sell it to the Flash. Pretty sure the Flash isn't really going to help us. I'll just open it here so that we can have a look. Okay. And then I'll pop it back in. Because it will give us an entry into our PDA. First time discovering a flash. Let's have a look. Uh, guide. High tier. Electrical resistance and psi resistance. Mm. Not really something I feel like I need right now. You know what I mean? Just gonna go for it. So let's drop this off. Try and pick up another task if we can. Alright, looks like our epi's worn off. Now we're burning stamina. And we're back down to 77.9 kilo. Lucky we did all of that stuff while it was still on. Alright, so we're just going to sit down here, swap suits, alright let's go, at some point I'm going to forget which suit I'm wearing, I'm going to get shot, you watch. That being said, the Ecologist suit is one of the safest in the game. It's the one with the most friendly factions. Many factions don't mind the Ecologist at all. So we're going to sell off this artifact, we're going to try and get another task, we're going to turn in this other task. We'll see where that brings us. Keeping in mind that we do have another task down south that um, Monolith did ask us to do. Alright, let's have a chat to our friend here. 
подходите. Что у вас? Open this. Oh. All right, that sells quite nicely, doesn't it? Doesn't it just? All right, let's see if they want any more work done. No, he's got nothing. So does this mean I'm stuck with this thing? There you go. Enjoy. Freaking thing. You know what? Let's grab it and I'm gonna put it. You want your anomalous material? I'll show you where your anomalous material is. See if we can. Eh, come on, come on. There we go. Let's see if this works. There's your anomalous material. Is this guy going to give us... Is there any work he wants to... He's just going to... Oh no, he wants artifacts. Shell artifact. The experience to take out of the field for study. Nope, that's... That's it. Hmm, I'd rather not lead ecologists around. Not yet. Doesn't strike me as a good idea. If I did that, I'd want some sort of armored ecologist suit. This one's not really good enough. Hmm, hello. Oh wow, okay. Ah, uh, this guy had gear. Is this a zombie? Nope, that's an ecologist ecologist. What the hell happened here? Interesting. Okay, so we actually have a guard jumpsuit now. Medium. Not bad. We do actually have quite a few things here, and these are in... Well, that's in good condition. Yeah, man. Some of this stuff is in pretty good condition. You know what? We're going to take it with. Might be able to sell some of the crappier ones. God knows what happened here, though. I'm just going to duck into the bush here real quick. Field strip that and get rid of it. Same deal. It's pretty rubbish. That's not too bad. We could actually do something with this. Mm, we could potentially fix this one. And that one's not looking too bad either. This could be fixable. Let's move on. Fixing up weapons for part of the stash um, is part of the challenge. You do get rewarded for doing that, so we'll be looking to repair as many weapons as we can. There will also be other mechanisms which encourage you to experiment and play around with weapons. Right, we're tanking it a bit. Let's try and make that lives a little bit easier here. I do have a fair bit of gear here. This is the real winner though. This is kind of what makes me happy. Although it is kind of inferior against a lot of stuff. Hmm. Still, that is also part of the challenge. So I feel like we need to at least give it a decent effort at repairing. Man, we are really tanking it. I 
one of the reasons I'm driving so hard to get the base up and running is that it will unlock a bunch of other upgrades which will let us begin upgrading strength, dexterity, stamina, all that sort of stuff. Basically the skills in the skill based system, we can start leveling these up. That would be nice. Let's just put this away and walk a little bit quicker with it. And... Out of stamina again. Based on this alone, I'm probably just going to end up selling one of these weapons. Maybe the shotgun. Actually, the shotgun's looking a bit worse for wear. You know what? Done. That's a bit better, I think. Okay, let's go and get our reward. Maybe there's another task that we can get as well. Quick save. Quick save. Yeah, Gagdila. Now, why is it making those sounds? Doing weird things. What's going on there? Like it's triggering too many times. Don't know if you can hear that. Not quite sure what that is. So we just uncovered a stash marker. Where did it put that stash? I am not sure where it put that stash. Or even if it's any good. Okay, we got three. We got four in Red Forest. Four green stashes in Red Forest. It's almost sounding like we should go to Red Forest, hey? 11%. I am curious to repair this though. I would like to do that. Alright, the old ammo that we have, this stuff I will keep. Because that will be useful. Okay, the old components we can sell though. I don't think we really need to carry those around with us. The ones that are in poor condition. Oh, привет. Oh, привет. Done. I'm wondering if we could actually get some components from these guys. But you know what? I think we'll do it. Do it our way. Hold on to it. Let's get some water. Hello. Now, what has he got? He's got aqua tabs. That's a good find. I'm going to grab those. Uh, did he have flasks, actually? does. He's got two. Let's grab those. Uh, what has he got in the way of other stuff? That's about it. Okay. Okay, so those flasks did put us over a little bit. Burning stamina a bit quicker. Yeah, burning stamina a lot quicker. Be a good thing to get this um, suit back, though. Would not mind repairing that at all. This is in really ratty condition, though. And we forgot to sell the meat. Shit. You know what? One of these. Man, even with that we are still burning stamina like crazy.
All right, we'll walk it in. Before I forget, uh, there are links in the description for my Twitter, and Discord, and another channel that I've got running called Hey Blondie, which does long-form video game analysis. If any of that's your kind of jam, if you like those sorts of communities, do jump into the description, check out the links. Come and join us. Hello, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, you can take that meat, my friend, because we cannot use it. All yours. And we are just going to mosey on out of here. Hope that we don't get our asses shut off. We do have an artifact detector. We could actually do a spot of artifact hunting. Not that I think we'd find much, mind you. tanking it. Big time, big time, big time. It'll all be worth it to get this suit back. So what's this? 5.2 versus 16.5. Be a lot easier to carry that suit around. Quickly suit up as ecologists when we need to do whatever tasks we need to. It's medium armor, so it should offer half-decent protection. This far north, it probably won't mean too much. It'll be like tissue paper, but still. Better than your naked ass. Just taking it nice and easy. Our equipment's in good nick. Suits at 95%. I'm happy enough with that. My little house is not too far away now. Suit up on it shortly. Just want to get a little closer. So we could do some artifact hunting up there at the ash heap anomaly. That one could be a winner. I actually haven't done much artifact hunting up that way. Curious to see what sort of stuff we can find up there. Okay. Should still have our buddies here looking over the place for us. Yep. Another one of the reasons that I don't mind hanging out here is because zombies do tend to spawn in this area quite often. It's not always guaranteed, but it does happen. Alright, so these can stay. Those I think I'll fix up. Definitely pay to have those. These we can break down. Um, so the old stuff we will definitely keep now. We have an avenue to break them down. And all of this ammo can definitely stay. So all of this is money. By money, I mean it's equipment for us to play with. Uh, we are kind of low on regular rounds. Maybe I'll swap out to the Hydra Shocks. Hmm. Either way, though, we are looking pretty good. It is not bad. Yeah, there's some stuff here. 
It's not bad at all. You know what? We don't need to carry around all this water. Let's combine this. Better. Much better. Two can stay in. We don't need all that stuff. We don't need two chocolate bars. We don't really need any chocolate bars. Let's get rid of that. I think we're good for food. I don't think we need tourniquets. I think we're pretty well good for tourniquets. Okay, I think we're pretty well good for everything else. And this can stay too. Or should we go artifact hunting? Should we actually just go up there and see what's up there? I'm really doubtful we'll find much. But, you know, could be worth it. There isn't much else we got going on right now. It is starting to get pretty late in the day. Kind of hesitant to go too far, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, this area up here can have a lot of stalkers. Oh my god. Press the button. Thank you. Yes. Fat fingers. Okay, that's gonna hurt us. Alright, well this is basically inaccessible. We're not gonna find much here, I don't think. Though we do have a bunch of zombies up that way. What is up here? What is behind this anomaly? Some sort of camp or passage or something? Not been up here. Problem is I don't think I'll survive if I try and get through. I'm not even gonna make it through the aura. Yeah, it's too hard. Suit's not geared for it. If I try and walk in there with an ecologist suit, they're going to shoot me. Alright, well there's that idea. But we still got a little bit of daylight to explore and check some stuff out. And I don't really want to end the episode without doing a bit of poking around, seeing what we can find. Could be worth heading back to see if we can get any more tasks, but I'm suspecting that we won't. The other thing we could potentially do is try and get this stash here, but I'm trying to think who normally populates this. It's normally monolith or possibly even mercenaries. I have seen military up here too. Hmm. This is looking more attractive though. We've got one stash, two stash, three stash, four stash, plus any bodies that we loot along the way. And there will definitely be carnage there. I reckon. I can hear these guys cruising around. It's creeping me out a bit. Hmm. I would like to get more tasks. But I suspect that we're probably not going to get too much to fill ourselves this episode. You know what? Let's just head in this direction and see what we can spot up here, maybe. What else have we got around? Just trying to think of the other stashes that we haven't looted yet. Don't know if we've grabbed this one. We definitely haven't gone into this complex yet, either. We could always check this checkpoint here. We could check here. See if there's anyone. 
But a lot of this is sort of taking us outside where we would normally go and can be a bit risky. Could always check the tunnel, see if there's anyone at the tunnel. There's our zombie friends. Let's go and check the tunnel real quick. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we don't. Maybe we die. Maybe that's the way it has to be. Torches in there. Let's sit down and have a look. Don't know who's down there, but we can definitely check it out. Zombies? Really? Yep. Zombies have taken over. Is this the apocalypse? Like, what the hell is happening here? Got nothing but zombies here. It's all zombies. Creepy. Very creepy. Might head down in this little embankment and we'll check it out. Yeah, I don't know that we've got too much down here. Actually, I did see something on the seat just then. Yeah, okay, we got a couple of things. That's close-ish. What is going on over there? It sounds like it's coming from the ecologist bunker. Coming from this complex up here, I think. Nope, it's coming from the house. So, some random Judy asshole just reported something. anyone walking through here? Not seeing anyone. I'm just going to head up onto the top here and see if I can spot anything. Not seeing anything. So what were they shooting at? Was it would did mutants spawn maybe? Zombies were shooting. Maybe. Flick it to full auto. 
Because I don't know what's going on at the moment. It's the other thing about Kapachi is that you will get wandering idiots coming through. Okay, well we still got our buddies here. Well, someone got shot. Someone went down. So, what the hell? This guy's not moving. Someone got too close. Yep, it was a loner. And he was a professional too. Oof, that must have hurt. Was it just the one? Looks like it. Nope. Got a second one here too. Zombified. Alright, well we got some gear. Very nice. <sighs> guys, come on guys. Someone's bleeding. No? It's one of these. One of us. Come on. I'm looking at the damn thing. There we go. Stupid thing. 21%. Pop that back in. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff. How much of this is going to be salvageable? That looks like it's salvageable, actually. That kind of looks like it's salvageable. Mm, I'm not so sold on these ones. The PM. Yeah. That's salvageable. Yeah, this not so much. I think I'll decommission these ones. They can all stay. Old ammo. Old, old, old. Okay. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. Wow, I really need another three-piece sharpening stone set. Alright. Let's break down these weapons. I'm just gonna pop out here. Now I'm pretty sure both of these are just gonna be, yeah, field strip jobs. That can go. And that one. Just going to get rid of the zero condition ones. The rest we can either keep or sell. This guy's really starting to annoy me. Is that out there? Is that a body? Nope. Not. These are good, and these are good. Cool. Pop those in. Well, like I said, this is going to be a shorter episode. I think I'm going to call it here. Don't really have too many other things that we can do at the moment, and the battery in this is almost dead. Let's unpack the battery and try again. Come on. In you go. There we go. Betterer. So we don't have too many tasks going on for us right now. You can see that there's only two and they're both monolita tasks. But I think we'll probably round out the episode with a sleep or something. What was the time? The time was... Yeah, it's, it's still a bit too early. 
Seems like a shame to burn daylight. So maybe next episode we'll start with doing another round, see if we can find some tasks. And, uh, kick it off that way. Whoa. That was here. That was here. That was here. That sounds like Judy. That's at us. Oh wow. Single shot. Okay, can't dispute that. Uh, that's a death. Wasn't expecting to get one shot. That was pretty nasty. I need to enter that into the sheet, one death. Damn it, that means we need to go back and loot those bodies again. I think. Yeah, it does. Alright, well, let's do this now. With the understanding that we've got some arsehole trying to sneak up on us. Okay, what do we say? We'll keep that one. They actually look like they're in better condition. That one's in better condition. This one's not. That one is. That one kind of is too. Mm, this one not so much. Let's strip that one. And that one's pretty crap as well. Alright, so let's just... Like, real quick. Turf these out. So that can stay, they can all stay, and that can stay. This one we're just going to turf because it's pretty ratty. We won't bother with that one. Um, let's put all of these in the stash. Okay, do that. Got some bandages, that can go in. Alright. I think that's good. So what we're going to do is just head out the back real quick. And we're just going to drop this actually, we're not going to do anything with it. Now here's the fun thing, right? This guy may or may not spawn in and head in this direction. It's all kind of random. Uh, no, we definitely don't want that. No binox, damn it. So not sure where this guy came down from. He was there, that's where he was shooting from before. But like I said, he may not actually spawn. And we were kind of fluffing around for a bit. So he could be another couple minutes away. Assuming that he comes this way, of course. Anything is possible. That single shot kill, that was definitely Grok's ballistic overhaul. That's like a, you weren't armored enough and he was using the right rounds, so you're screwed, buddy. Is this guy gonna come? This is what I mean, this guy may not come at all.
may not even spawn. This guy's just guarding my gear. Alright, buddy. I'll let you. Alright, we'll leave it here legit this time. I don't know if this guy's going to come back, but if he is, then I guess that'll be a surprise for next episode. Until then, good hunting, stalker. <laughs>